Yeah, I think there are many places in the world in which uh, there are many cultural elements that are rooted to a local community or a group and you can you can think about myths or origin stories or just common beliefs that are part of, of, of a community. I can speak for example for what happens in Mexico where the rich history of um, pre-Hispanic traditions is very much alive and many of the young artists are contesting that those histories or reviving those histories and using them as a subject matter. And the same thing happens in Japan with different traditions that go from, from thinking about gods to thinking about practices like more domestic practice like origami and how uh, artists are able to integrate those kind of traditional practices into a more dynamic environment. Uh, I think that is part to understand that um, culture is not something that's static uh, and that it's always changing and it's sort of like picking new elements from different generations. And I think as much as we can question our own culture and question our relationship to those cultural markers, um, that culture becomes richer and becomes uh, more current in a way that people are able to embrace those elements in a new light and are able to establish new meanings and new forms of relating to those cultural markers, that being ancestral knowledges or uh, things that are uh, inherited from your family or from your community. And I think as much as we can foster those spaces in which artists, young artists particularly, can um, play with those ideas and can find these new meanings, um, these, these cultural elements are going to be alive.